<laughs> Greetings! Hello, Hello everyone! Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, um, Wednesday edition. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where we go back and look at games that we have looked at before mm -hmm. and play them a bit more. Um, we have looked at this game before. But this is a new version of this game. Oh, by the way, I'm James and I'm Tanya. Welcome. Um, today we're going to be playing Doodle Jump. Mm -hmm. Have you played Doodle Jump? I haven't. I've seen you play it. Yeah. So I, I, I get the concept of Doodle Jump, <laughs> but no, I haven't played. I haven't played Doodle Jump before. Yeah. Um, and Doodle Jump is not a new game. This is kind of a port mm -hmm. of a game that is actually on like phones and tablets and i don't know if it's made it to like ps4 and like modern consoles but uh it probably has because there is an arcade version of doodle jump mm. with a huge joystick and a huge vertical screen like a new game like a new a arcade, new arcade game. game cool yes that's very cool yeah um and it's got a huge swingy joystick that looks like a, you can steer it rather than like it's an analog joystick mm. rather than a, a digital just left and right hello arena foot hello. welcome to the show welcome to everybody out there um in twitch land or youtube watching it after mm -hmm. um if you're in twitch you just uh type and say hello and we'll say hi back <laughs> um in this game is made by the guy who put out this book, Stella Programmer's Guide. Nice. It's not Steve Wright. <laughs> Steve Wright is the original person yes. who wrote this. Yes. And it is uh, Dion Olsthorn. Olsthorn? Sounds uh, Northern European. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, also known as Dionoid in mm. the Atari Age forums. So uh, he formatted this book for um, paper version mm. because it's been floating around helping people program Atari homebrews for a long time. Mm. It's actually been around since 1979. Very cool. For the people who made the actual games mm. and people have used it kind of as an intro guide for uh, learning about the 2600 and I did a review but it's not out yet. It should be out next week okay. on this book and also arena foot's book these two books homebrew companion volume one and stella programmer's guide um so look for that next week on the youtube channel um obviously not on the twitch channel because twitch is a live thing and i pre-recorded it i'm not mm -hmm. doing a live book review although you could no nothing's yeah. stopping you i guess but i'd rather do um uh ones with graphics and b-roll and all that kind of stuff um but yeah, this this game is made by Dion um, Doodle Jump, but it's probably not going to be the final name of it. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Depends on the approach he takes, because there are some games that kept their name, like uh, Pac-Man 4K. Mm -hmm. It's like unofficial. Um, there's games that have kept the graphics, like Zippy the Porcupine. Um, and then there's games that got in trouble, like Princess Rescue. Yeah. Um, so it's not a Nintendo license, so they're not going to crack down immediately. But we'll see what approach he takes. I was going to say it must depend on how litigious the original owners of the copyright and or games are when it comes to people making versions on other systems and, and yeah. reproducing the... The icons and the... Yeah, and the, the graphics. And the graphics. And the gameplay can't really be copyrighted too no. easily. Um, but the graphics, yes. Mm. The name, for sure. Mm. And it depends on whether they think they're losing money by the, you know, dozens of cartridges being <laughs> sold, uh, yeah. which is completely unlikely. Mm. They're not going to be losing money. And they're not going to be making very much money, even if they get a, a share of it. Um, but then there's games like Boulder Dash, mm. who was made in cooperation with the original company. Oh, well, that's cool. And that was a very limited run of games. Like, you can't, even, can't buy it anymore. It was only for a certain amount of time. Okay. Um, and also, there's other games like mm -hmm. 
Let's see. Super Cobra Arcade, I believe, is made with a cooperation. And Star Castle, and there's a bunch of other ones like that where the original creators know about it, mm. and they're they're all cool with it, or at least not suing. <laughs> well, that's always good. Yeah. Yes. Um, so we did play this on the show earlier. Um, I don't know how many weeks ago, but a couple weeks ago, and it was the first version of the game that was ever put out and we played it like just days after it was put out and tonight we have a very special version of the game mm -hmm. that has not been released and i've been talking with um uh dion about it and um so this is the premiere release of it i don't know when he's going to put it in the forums but probably after the show okay um, so everyone else can play it, but he was very nice to allow us to showcase it and debut it. Um, now, he made two versions of this game. Okay. I believe they're the same. I don't think he changed anything but the graphics, but we're going to play the one with the new graphics. Oh, drinking problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very fun. We're going to play one with the changed graphics, uh, which is called... Poodle jump Yay! instead of doodle jump. <laughs> so let's switch over to that right now. 19 days ago on Twitch, Arena Foot says, Thank you very much. What is. Okay. I don't know what that little corner thing is. Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. There's the little doodle dog. Aww. That is so cute. Or poodle, I guess. <laughs> the poodle. Yes. I like its little floppy ears. I that's love a, that's it. a really nice touch. <laughs> I love the floppy ears. It's so, so just... cute. Turn up the audio here so we can see it. We can hear it. And I've never played this game. Well, so there you go. Is there any any purpose to the button? Does it make you jump hard? The button is unassigned right now. So he may use it later. Okay. Um it's just, just left and right. Left and right. Just left and right, and stay on the platforms. And the spring shoots you up. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> it's all about subtle movements. Um, then there's disappearing platforms, which yeah, are that's white. That's going to get really hard. Oh. And then there's moving platforms, which are blue. Okay. We'll, we'll run into those okay. in a bit. Ooh, it's already challenging. <laughs> <laughs> So, my high score is 7,000. We'll see about that. Oh. So, see if you can beat that. There's definitely a strategy here. It is all about just slight adjustments to the movements. Um, and you do get used to how, how much the poodle doodle <laughs> does jump. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, um, it's very incremental movement. Yes. Ooh. Oh! Very that incremental movement. Just slight but accurate. It's neat. It's it's when it when when there's not many platforms that <laughs> that it gets hard. It gets and hard. there is wraparound. So if oh. you go off to the right, you'll appear on the left. And sometimes you will have to do it because of the sparseness of the um, of the platforms. Hmm. Fan is being noisy. I'm going to move the fan down. It's hot day today. Oh, yeah. It's a hot, hot day. I have redone the gaming room. Um, so how do you like the new sleeker look of what, the gaming what, room? Uh, I, they can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's good. It's good. All the cords are away. I've got a new computer, which yes. we have used twice in the stream so far. You want to play? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, and, and new arms for computer uh, monitors. monitors, so now your desk is much cleaner. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I love this little dog. 
Isn't it the best? It's so ah. cute. The it's the cute. green collar is such a nice touch too, but the ears flopping up and down. So I did see you play the old older version of Doodle Jump, not yes. Poodle Jump, Doodle Jump. Yes. Um what was the little guy? Was he just like a little guy? I can't oh. I can't remember too clearly now what he looked like. He was like a little alien, but he was kind Did of, he, he have like a Did he have big ears too? Uh no, he had a floppy nose? That's what it was. Yeah, so okay. his nose flopped around a little bit. Yeah, this guy's But he did cute. have the floppy action. Ooh, oh, damn look it. at that. Moving platforms. Moving platforms. So he um he also implemented pressing the button to restart rather than an automatic restart. So you can actually see your high score before it instantly disappears, which is a very wonderful thing. 2169. <laughs> yeah, don't even bother counting my scores until I get above <laughs> 7,000. Here, let me, let me put on the screen um, my score. See if I can find it. Oh. Whew. There we go. There's my score. 7,311. And that's on this new version. So this does count towards these games. And this was, yeah, that was playing Poodle Jump. So he's not sure of, oh, good job. Made it the white. Oh no, I did, I did much better <laughs> before. Um, yeah, it def definitely takes a little bit of getting used to, but that's yeah, okay. The it's not, I mean, the controls are very simple. Yes, it's just left and right. And he was pondering whether to, whoa. Yeah, he... <laughs> he was pondering whether to make this um, a paddle game rather than a joystick game um and i i'm not sure yet because i don't know how it would play as a paddle game i don't know whether you'd have more control you probably c would Maybe. have more control yeah but it, it wouldn't be an absolute it would still be a momentum thing yeah rather than just him zipping all over the place I like kaboom. I feel like this game would be better with a joystick because you're, you're kind of jumping back and forth with your finger, uh, whereas with the joystick, it's more subtle movement. Want to try that? I wouldn't mind trying it. Okay. I'll play it with the round, though. I mean, it's hard because I'm still, I'm still getting used to the sensitivity of the back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> like that. <laughs> but it is fun. It's so cute. That dog is adorable. <laughs> So was your high score? Oh, yes. Was your high score related to Doodle Jump or Poodle Jump? Poodle Jump. Ah, cute. So you played this version. Yes, to get my high score. <laughs> so it is a valid high score. The, the highest I got on the other version was like four thousand something. Four, something like that. Okay. I'll let you finish this game off. We'll plug in a joystick joystick. And this is an Epix uh, 500XJ. Um, probably my favorite joystick, DB9 joystick. Uh, very clicky, but I do like the feel of it. It's very movable. So let's try this one out. I will probably do better as well on the, with this joystick. Mm -hmm. So it just seems like a a better one to do it with. Let's try that out. Somebody seems to be drilling downstairs. Mm. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh, I hope this is can. not too noisy. It's not too bad. You just hear it every once in a while. And let let me know if you hear the joystick too. You probably don't hear the drilling. Probably hear the joystick. <laughs> it's pretty clicky. Easier or harder? Um, probably easier. Yeah, I think it is easier. I wouldn't have made that jump if it was. 
but it might be too noisy. Oh. There we go. There, I'll take off that. Uh, To have it sitting in the corner anymore. Now, let's go through what he changed from the last mm. version. How's the new joystick? Different? Better? Not sure? Better. Better? Okay. Uh, so, updates that he put into this new build. So after you die, the score stays visible until you press the fire button. That one's an obvious one. Uh, bug fixed where it occasionally looked like you got pushed off a platform. This is the teleport that you noticed, which is fixed because that used to like jump you over all of a sudden, and it was it was very unnerving and uh, contributed to a lot of deaths. Um, bug fixed where you uh, seemed you could jump on a platform below the visible screen. That one is hard to test out because it happens so rarely. Um, because you can't really see the platform that you're jumping onto. <laughs> so I don't know if we'll ever be able to see that, so we'll have to kind of take his word for it. Uh, bug fix where the collision detection on the edge of a platform was sometimes a bit off. Didn't notice that one too much, but I did experience that I think once or twice. Uh, added support for the reset button, so we'll try that out. Um, not that you need to use it at this point. I guess in the middle of the game you could press the reset <laughs> instead of dying. Um, he will probably release this ROM after the show. He is in Europe, so it is 2 a.m. there. So probably tomorrow morning, unless he's up really late tonight. So I would guess... A minimum six hours he'll probably release or he might wait till after the show or you know I hope he will wait still after the show because everybody will log off and play it instead of watching um, bonus points for jumping on springs and that's where you get a lot more score which is probably why I have six uh, the 7,000 7,000 yeah the high score that I got pushing it up I think <laughs> like not direct uh, uh, the game is now a 2K ROM instead of a 4K ROM, so I guess he figures that he won't need the, the added space. That's pretty good for a 2K ROM. Um, sped up the PAL version, so now it plays as fast as the NTSC. Um, I guess it does auto-detect. Um, does he release PAL? I didn't notice if he released PAL and NTSC. <laughs> I know he just sent me the NTSC versions. And support for different types of platforms. So this was actually before he put in the platforms. So there might be more than this he has added in, but I didn't notice. <laughs> I hope he does this version with the original Doodle too. So I don't know what he's going to release. He may release the Poodle or he may release the Doodle. Um, he didn't say whether this was a permanent thing or if he just did this version to test out some graphics. <laughs> My turn. Sorry. I seem to be. Do you find Do you find it catches going left and right sometimes? Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, it's catching. It's not me. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. What's going on? You can move back. You can put the bring the Genesis controller back. I have I have two other ones of this joystick. Where are they? Yeah, I can't move sometimes to left. Okay, let's try a different joystick. <laughs> it's very hot in here. Sadly, with these joysticks, if you need to fix them, you have to cut down the middle and destroy the sticker. Because the sticker is over top of the two pieces. Which makes me very sad. So this one has been opened. So hopefully this one is fine. this one in. Well, it goes up and down. 
short cord? No. No. It's caught. Well, right away it's better, so. Good, because... Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was not working was, at all. Something weird was going on. It was sometimes working. Just not always. My favorite is doing tons of springs in a row. If you can work it? Yeah, sometimes it's impossible, but... I like the noise that it makes when you hit a white one. It almost sounds like the dog is going woof, woof. Woof. <laughs> it reminds me of a... The sound of the dog in the Coleco version of... Um... Mousetrap? Mm. Oh, oh, too high. I should have wrapped around. And he has changed the, um, the spring configuration of where they appear. Mm -hmm. um, it used to be a little bit more random of when they would come on the screen, but now it is exactly... You a can, screen up. A screen up. So, so you can do always, springs forever. There's always a spring, in theory, that in the you, exact could, right spot. you could be moving your poodle to. Yes. If you're super good at this game, you could do it every spring. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh, I should have done it. It's just showing off. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's very impractical to actually do the spring moves. Well, yeah, you have to be pretty accurate with hitting that platform. That is definitely how I got the 7,000. Is it? Yeah. A lot of springs in Tons a row. Tons of springs all in a row. It is definitely very satisfying <laughs> jumping on a ton of springs. But it's just, actually, a lot of the times when I do the springs, I get caught on other platforms. Yeah, as I'm so you trying can't, to, you can't continue. So it prevents me from getting to yeah. it. I accidentally touch springs. Oh. Getting sparse. Doing really well now. So the joystick is much better. Now, has he planned... Oh, I can't rest yet. No. Has he planned for five digits? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, you jinxed yourself. Damn it. That's why you don't do that. Do you want to keep going? Or? No, no, no. No? Not your turn. Oh, let's see. This one does seem to be a bit shorter. It is shorter. <laughs> you need to invest in some new controllers. No, I have tons yeah. no, of controllers. No, he, he doesn't. He really doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I do need to get <laughs> at least 30 more controllers. <laughs> I just need to mark the controllers that are bad and test them all. I'm making an NES 500XJ into an Atari 70A2 button 500XJ. Very nice. Oh. I do have an NES 500XJ as well. That is a nice conversion. That is awesome. Oh. 
Do I have an NES 500XJ? I swear I do. Hmm. It'll be in my NES bin. I'd have to look that up. So, the other suggestions that I gave him, um, and he has implemented some of these. Um, I've had 14 of them. <laughs> <laughs> not suggestions, just like things that would be cool to add, or maybe not. Maybe it'd be too complicated. Um, wider platform at the start and less wide as time goes on. But now that I've played this version, I think it's totally fine. It's pretty I, challenging. I don't think you size. need wider platforms, but it might be good for the tiny first little bit. The Atari ones cost more than the NES ones. Maybe they're because there's less less made of them. I don't know. Um, denser denser platforms at the start and more spaced out as time goes on because i think it still seems to be a little random how how um how many there are because like look at that it's very very sparse right now and you're still kind of at the beginning and then it gets uh more dense it, it, it's very it changes random. it changes yeah. but I, I don't think that's a bad thing it keeps it keeps it keeps the gameplay fresh <laughs> well and and, re and a little bit more challenging yes Yay. Oh, white ones. A whole bunch of white Five ones. Five of them. Oh, oh poor Minecraft. poodles. Um, unstable platforms you can't land on. Now, I was... They're different than the white ones. I'm talking about platforms you fall right through that don't even bounce you. Oh, like black platforms or something that are useless. Wouldn't that just be space? Yeah, but they're like, they're trying to trick you. Like you're going to go for it and then you're like, oh my God, it's a black one. And it's totally useless. And then yeah. you have to recover. Um, but that might be too hard. I don't know. It does have that in some of the Doodle Jump games because I did install it on, on my tablet, um, Doodle Jump. But the controls are tilting it and it's nightmarish to control. Tilting it to move your little alien guy. Um, platforms that change from green to yellow to red, then disappear. Um, so multicolored one, because right now it's white. And it disappears And they disappear after once. But maybe ones that slowly disappear? I don't know. That might be too complicated. Or kind of fade. It, they can go from, you know, green to something to white, then nothing. Um... Flying enemies that go back and forth that block your way. Mm -hmm. Not maybe fully across the screen, but maybe on one side. Like going back and forth kind of just in the way a little bit. Um, enemies that sit on platforms so you can't land on them. Um, instead, of, So instead of a spring, it's just a little, a little bad dude. It's a little snake. A little snake or something. Like a Q-Bert snake that, uh, that gets you a purple snake. Um... Now this might be taking it too far, but the ability to shoot enemies with the fire button. Because that starts changing it into a different game. When you start adding in, you know, shooting, shooting things. So, I, I, I'm not even sure of myself of that one. Because then it, then it starts making it into a game that it's not. Rather than just, where, where are you Oops. going? There was a spring there. <laughs> I would just, it disappeared off the screen. Um, a pickup. Oh. Like... Um, temporarily higher bounces, like a pickup that you get, that'll last for a little bit. Maybe a little bouncy ball that you pick up, especially for a dog, dog yeah. toy, a little bouncy dog toy. That makes you bounce like 50% higher. Um, temporary balloon that floats, uh, floats you up. Um, and you could keep floating until maybe you hit a platform accidentally or you run out of time and it starts deflating or it pops and it shows it's going to pop um oh, it smells like burning does it yeah but it could be outside mm -hmm. someone could be barbecuing oh yeah it's outside <laughs> stinky burning hi tari come here oh. uh let's see this one I definitely think he should think about is uh, changing the background color as you get higher and higher. Um, maybe even if it's just subtle different colors of blue so it doesn't interfere with platforms. 
or you could or you could just um, change the platform colors or something so it doesn't get mixed in um, <laughs> things that blow you left and right so it makes it harder or easier to go in that direction obviously this this would be on much higher level because that sounds terrible um, so it harder or it, it takes more effort to go left and less effort to go right so you like go really fast to the right but only within that little fan area like a little fan blowing you um, and probably won't implement this one because he's already crunched it down to a 2k ROM is to build in the very first version of um, doodle jump but he could always just keep that as a as an available ROM. People can always download it. Keep the original Doodle Jump with just the springs and everything without all the extras. Um, and bl platforms that move back and forth left and right, which he has already implemented, which is awesome. So what does everybody out there think he should name the game? Um, poodle Jump! Poodle Jump? I love <laughs> Poodle Jump. I love the Poodle. It, it, it's so cute. It rhymes with the initial game, yeah. which is helpful. Um, the poodle is adorable, and it w totally works in white and yes. with, the, with the collar. And maybe you can get like different collars that make them have different abilities, like jumping higher, that wear off. Um, <laughs> or should he stick with Doodle Jump and try and get the permission of the the original creators and, and keep it the same, but a lot of a lot of um, programmers don't do that. They they, they kind of make it their own, and that's what happens I don't usually. Think that's a bad thing. Make it make it your own yeah. game, like your own version of it. Yeah. yeah. And and I was discussing it with him, and he said even Doodle Jump is not the original game. It was called Pappy Jump, and Doodle Jump changed the graphics, so mm -hmm. Doodle Jump isn't even. The original one. Too high. And does anybody else out there have any suggestions for other um, add-ons? Poodle Jump works for this version. Well, yeah, works really well. <laughs> Thank you, Arena Foot. Yeah. Um, so far, I haven't found any bucks. No, it's no. working really well. Yeah. I've seen no issues with it at, at all. And I was talking with him, and he is of the mind that every version you put out... There we go. You make sure it works perfectly before adding more things yeah, into it. Yeah, no, that's fair. I mean, then you know the me mechanics of it are all working. And yeah, you know it's a solid... I just, I just think he's adorable. I think you need hissing Ataris, oh. you know, blocking the platforms. Oh, if hissing you need, cats. If, if you need some... Um, are there enemies? <laughs> yes. Definitely. Watch out for the hissing cats. I'm trying to think what uh, a poodle would consider an enemy. Anything. <laughs> They're tiny. Poodles? No. Unless you're a big poodle. No, no. A most... Like a full-size poodle? Yeah, most poodles are big. I guess so. If they're not a poodle, they're like a cross, right? Or they're like a... Isn't I, there don't, a I don't know. I'm not a dog person, but... Isn't um, there a, a, a poodle called a doodle? Yeah, it's half poodle, half... Half dog? Lab or something? Wouldn't it have a D doodle? in it? I don't know. Yeah, I am not the person to ask about <laughs> dog breeds, so... No. Cat breeds? A little bit. Right? A little bit. I do like that. The poodle is very cute. So is there anything beyond the floating back and forth? Not that I've encountered. Not yet. Okay. Maybe at 10,000, but we haven't made it there. But we will. <laughs> we will. It's very achievable. Yeah, maybe if there was a way to get an item to earn a save, yeah. Oh, or, a save, yes. Or, um, you're talking about balloons, it would be nice if you caught a balloon and then the balloon would bring you back up, to, you know, if you fell down, oh, it would bring you, you back up. Oh, you could save it. Yeah, so, so you would, you wouldn't die immediately, that would be nice. Right, that would be very good. Yeah, so you would get that's like a great one, idea. one, one free death or something like that. That's, yes. a, that's a nice idea. 
but that would have to be a very special reward. Well, it could, as you say, it could be when you're at 10,000 or it could be at oh, a certain yeah. level. That's a good idea. Or they could be just very sparsely populated. Very. Yeah, throughout the game. But the controls are very good, very yeah. tight. Oh, this is terrible. That's a tough one. And it is interesting because you get big gaps, but then you'll get a lot in a row. And sometimes yeah, the spring random. will be right below a platform and it will make it harder to get to the spring because there's a platform immediately. Yeah. Immediately. Right above it. Ab yeah, above the spring. So, um, no, it's good. It, it's good um, and, and challenging because it is very randomized. So. Yes, that is for sure. Yeah, I do like the random, the randomness of it. Whoa, oh. whoa, I didn't expect to be hit that platform. That's what gets me. Mm. Thank you for the score keeping arena foot. Yes. Definitely have a new high score with the 9,000. I have to beat that. The 9,000? Yeah. I have to get to the 10. I have to test out his five digit scoring. Let's see if he Aww. built that in. Judging by the placement, I don't think he did. It sits right up against the left hand side. Oh no, it, it expands out. Smart. So he might have. Didn't notice that. See the 700. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it expands yeah. out. It's a good way. A good way to do it. <laughs> yeah. And it can just expand. And 10,000 isn't like impossible, so I can no. see him going. Yeah, I, I'll build in the 10,000. Oh, you could probably just keep increasing numbers across <laughs> the screen if you really wanted to. So. Yep. Ah. That's what happens. See, that's what gets you is when this when you're aiming for a spring and then it drops <laughs> off the bottom because you jump too high. Jump a little bit too high, yeah. but you do. You have... hit a higher platform and suddenly, oh, that one's tough. Ah. See that, and then you try to go for it and then it drops <laughs> off and you're like, no. Yep. Yeah, you have to be when very you fly out wary into of dead that. space. Yeah. <laughs> like nothing's there. Yeah. Poor poodles. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I picture a little platform that he lands on just beneath. So. Yeah, he's saved. He's okay. Yeah. Because he comes back for the next game. That's right. What do you think, Atari? You like it? He seems to be purring. <laughs> That's his approval. Yeah. Oh. Although, I have to admit, I think um, Atari purrs his approval for any game I play. So. <laughs> he likes them all. He likes them all. They're Whoa. Atari. Atari approved. Atari Stamp approved. Stamp of approval. Yes. The Atari uh, seal of excellence. <laughs> ah. He is very cute, though. Yeah, the ears do it, right? The ears just are such a lovely touch. <laughs> they're very sweet. And a great um, graphic of a dog, too. Yeah. For yeah. having only eight bits wide. Yeah, no. It's really it's, good. It's very, very good. Very sweet. And the green color, I approve. It's you a, like the color? Yeah, I do. Oh. <laughs> Zero. Messed up my rhythm. Yeah. What does that say up there? Death scene for Poodle when he dies. Oh, <laughs> no. Aww. Just X's. Just, just X's or coins on the eyes. I don't know. <laughs> oh. That would be sad. You Your turn? break? Yeah. You want my beer? Nope. <laughs> don't want the beer. Oh, squished cat. <sighs> I'm trying to... Like, which way do you normally hold it? No, not that way. Yeah, well, it depends this way. if you're left or right handed. How do you hold it? 
Um, I'm right-handed for the video games. Ah. So my hand wraps around properly like that. That is a right-handed joystick? No, it feels like a right-handed joystick. Um, oh, and, and we have moved the chat as of, I think, last episode. Moved the chat above so we don't need to pick up this anymore to see what everybody's saying. So we have a lot more immediacy in responding to what, <laughs> what people are saying, which is, which is wonderful. Because I have a, a big television right above the small television that we play on. So it's super duper convenient. <laughs> Oof. Ah. I'll go mop it up. <laughs> Alcohol abuse. <laughs> it's okay. Ah. He says the poodle says no as he falls to his death. <laughs> no! <laughs> hey, awesome voice. Yeah, voice is always fun. Oh. Arf, just like, uh, no, oh. oh, no, no, it's too Arf. cruel. It's too cruel. <laughs> that would be very sad. Wouldn't it? It'll yip. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> poor doggies. Soaked right in. Wow. Soaked right in. Could be worse. Could be. It's not red wine. <laughs> Give us an excuse to change the carpets out if it was red wine. <laughs> That's a good point. There we go. Beer spill. I know. Yes, Only very hot today. It is hot. Um, well, read somewhere it's not it was 29. Bad. Well, it's supposed to be cooler today. I think it is here? supposed to cool down, but 26. It was hot over the last few days, so the house is pretty warm still on the inside. Yeah, it's been so warm. So even up. though I don't think it's been quite so hot outside, inside it's been still quite quite warm. Yeah, the cats have melted. Yes. Completely melted. So they're always like, Ugh. Oh, add a Atari Vox speech to the game like Man Goes Down. Yeah, yeah, you could. Because uh, Man Goes Down has some... Not even speech, like effects using the Atari Vox because you can make more than just speech because you can make it say anything you want. Oh, <laughs> oh that's why. Oh, See, they're still, they're oh I've still never a seen two more. together like that. <laughs> two? Yeah, they were like I've seen, uh, yeah, right no, together. Yeah, no, I have seen that. I have seen that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, where they're very, very close. Like, as close like, as you they couldn't could get, be. You couldn't get between them. No. You, you unexpected. Be, you have to be very careful you don't overshoot the spring and then go for the spring and then the spring is not there anymore. So. Yes. Bad news. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Got caught. moving platforms wider but faster moving those are hard enough though so right now it's mm. maxed out as soon as you get to the blue that's as hard as it gets at this point well yeah and in, in, in a sense nothing nothing new pops up no so you lost your spring i did lose my spring be so careful with those springs 
damn it. I like the animations on the springs too. The little extension of them oh, when he jumps. Oh, do they extend oh, higher? Yeah. yeah, no, if you look, they, they, oh, they, they, do. they stretch out. They compress and then yeah. stretch out. I don't think they compress. I think they just no? stretch. Yeah. Mm, yeah, they don't. Yeah. I don't know. It's really quick. It's, it's very hard to tell. But uh, it's a nice... Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. death. Yeah. I've never had that. Where you're on a white and then it's just There's two gone. whites and then nothing. I hope he almost doesn't change it to paddles because I'm so used to the joystick. <laughs> so can you, would, if he changes it to a paddle game, you can't play it with other controllers? Um, he could build that in to make it play with either. Mm. So if that's but, an option, that would be awesome because some people may like the paddle better. But uh, it would be based... Um, like the programming has to take into account the controller in that sense. You have yes. to program in the... The way it moves with it either moves. one of them. Oh my god, so many whites. So you definitely could get harder that way by just making less yellows. Or have no yellows. Ugh. Ah! Nightmare. That would be a nightmare mm. with no yellows. So every oh platform would be a one-hit platform. <laughs> And even the that springs. Would be terrible. Except for the springs, well, maybe. Yeah. Of course the springs would have to And it wouldn't matter because once you hop on a spring, You're gone. you get vaulted. You now, can hit the side of a spring and not Yes, I was gonna say I'm not sure if that's intentional or if that's maybe just it's fine. like a tiny bug. I wouldn't but say it's a bug. You can hit the platform on the very edge of the platform with the spring, but the spring doesn't yeah. catapult you up. Which which makes is, sense because you're not hitting the spring; you're hitting the platform. Well, it's when you're below the spring. The spring. Is, I don't know, actually. Yeah, maybe, maybe you could be right. Like when you kind of hit hit it at an angle, maybe it doesn't always work. Yeah, it's when you're hitting it like quite low on the platform. Because I've done that a few times where I've hit the platform and not the spring, and it's actually bounced okay. more than once. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've done that lots, and I, I'm fine with it working like that yeah because it kind of makes sense yeah so i wouldn't report that as a bug no but i and i, I didn't when um in the last version yeah i know and it's fine because it's just part of your where you land and the mechanics of it yeah because so. it might look weird being able to spring off something when you hit it that low on it and you hit just the edge of it yeah I'm almost not looking forward to future versions because I know they're going to be much harder than this. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be more challenging, so it'll be more satisfying getting a higher score. I'm going over. See? There, I jumped on the yeah. edge of it. But it's because I was so low. Because mm. I think it's looking for collision between the dog and the, and the spring. And the spring. So if the dog but doesn't actually coll collide with the spring, he doesn't jump. Yeah. I know it makes sense. Terrible, so many moving blue platforms. <laughs> oh, 
Come on, 10,000. That's all I want. Nah, I'm being too tricky. Shouldn't have, shouldn't try for every spring. <laughs> that just makes for more deaths. <laughs> I'll just go for the easier ones. It's just they give you so many points. Oh yeah. Not but only sometimes by, they are impossible to get to. They are, yeah. Not only points from the spring itself, but because you're catapulted so far, well, you get all those points too. Do you? Do yeah. you actually get a bonus for the spring? Yeah, you get a hundred. But it's more about moving really fast past a lot of other stuff. Well, that's that gives it, you the because points. you get the points for the height. Yes. So you have to exceed your previous height. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't think I can get that. <laughs> no, oh, oh, I can. No. The addition of, addition of the moving platforms is awesome. It adds so much. And the disappearing ones. So the original game, is that like a phone game? Uh, I, where it was originally, originally, yeah. I think it was. Like, if somebody wants to look up Pop, if you want to look up Poppy Jump, that's kind of the original. Are you spilling beer again? Oh, no, just making sure it's well seated. <laughs> uh huh. And eight. Was Poppy Jump? Yeah. Oh my god. Damn it. So I'm paying attention and I fell down the ravine. Well, it's on in the Google store. So. Is it? Mm -hmm. um, does it have a Wikipedia entry? I Do didn't see one come up instantaneously. I was trying to look for okay. one. I'm sure it does. Yeah, I think it was very popular. I seem to remember actually installing it way back then. go to a platform that's just above the spring if you want to go to one and then the spring. Released on the iPhone. First. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it used the accelerometer. Oh yeah, for um for steering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> At least on a tablet, it's terrible because it's too big. Maybe I haven't actually used it on my phone. Hmm. I'd rather it's play it on the Atari. Surprised I haven't heard of it before, but it it's, looks familiar. I think Poppy Jump is like really, really simple, and then mm -hmm. ugh, and then Doodle Jump extends quite a bit because they put a lot into it. See, I, sometimes I think I'm over enough, but I am not. <laughs> oh. 
I'm not very good with controlling him. <laughs> so I contacted Ed Ladin controllers today to see how much shipping was for one of their big multi-console controllers so I could get a proper arcade controller. So we'll see how much that is because um, that would be very, very nice for games like this. And it also works on the 7800 and the Coleco um, and anything else that takes DB9, of course. Oh my goodness. <sighs> it was doing very well. I think he was talking about whether to get rid of the wraparound or not, but I think the wraparound really adds quite a bit of gameplay to it. Um, especially when it's really oh. sparse and it makes it that much harder um, and challenging to do the wraparound. I think there are certain fields too that are quite challenging. Mm -hmm. That the wraparound helps you with if you remember that it's there. You yes. know what I mean? Like 99% so. of the time, I don't even think about going... Oh, oh that's what gets me a lot. Yeah. Because it's up just a bit too high, and then you have no recourse at all of surviving that coming back to it. So it's almost like if you don't get the spring right away, you don't go back for try it. for it. Yeah, if it's not above you and it's below you, you're done. Or, as long as it's, as it's a solid platform, wait till you go up, jump up once until the screen adjusts, and then see where you're at. Because the screen doesn't adjust till you do the jump. And by then it's too late because the spring's gone. Ooh, lots of white ones. Good job. Oh, oh. Sometimes you kind of get caught and. Yeah. Whew. It Not is. A beer. Oh. <laughs> I'll be spilling more beer though. <laughs> you will? Guaranteed? No. Not because guaranteed. it'll be your second beer? Probably. <laughs> I don't think my. my the chances um, go up. My, my poodle jump will be getting much better. <laughs> uh. Usually the maximum alcohol helping your game effect sits around one beer <laughs> and it goes downhill very quickly. Yes. At least that was how it was for me when I played um, pool? pool. Yeah. <laughs> your like angles get one, sloppier. One beer and you relax. Yeah. Two beers and you're sloppy and it just <laughs> kind of, there's like a sweet spot that doesn't last very long. So. Mm. sound like roof. A little bit. Listen. Roof. <laughs> I do like the spring noises too. Boing. <sighs> Frustrating. You could have wrapped around there. I could have, but yeah. I don't. But you don't think about it. <laughs> so I don't it. think about it. It's yeah. like, no, the screen is the screen. Most games don't have a wraparound. That's true. It's just a, it's an unusual feature because it defies all logic. <laughs> it's not a real thing in real life. You can't wrap around a room. Ah. Didn't notice it was a white one. And then it disappeared. Which ones I have more trouble with? White ones or blue ones? I think it's white ones. The funny thing is, is I mean, the blue ones are interesting because you do have to make sure you can't jump. You can't as stay. you fall, you can't stay in the exact same position. But they're not that bad. They don't move that fast. So I it's find not that I just bad. get caught on them. I get caught on the. Damn it! Like when you're trying <laughs> to fly across and land on a platform, oh, it you kind of it does interfere if you hit the the edge of the poodle on it. Yeah. Just ever so slightly. Poodle. Oh, he's cute.
<laughs> it was risky. lot of yelling outside or noises. I think they're celebrating something that happened today. Today? <laughs> Maybe the legalization of marijuana in Canada? I don't know. Could be. Or some continued <laughs> celebration of that is not surprising. Yes. And then another one in October. October 17th. That's when 17th? Trudeau announced that it would be fully legalized, right? Yes. Yeah. 19th or 17th? 17th, 17th. is what I re recall. Okay. That'll be the big party. And oh, of course they'll yeah. have a party on July 1st no matter what. Yes. <laughs> in celebration of the pending legalization. Is July 1st? July 1st. Uh, Canada Day. Oh, well, yeah. But, oh. Come on! I'm taking too big a risk sometimes for those springs. They're just too much fun. <laughs> now that's the challenge. And and every once in a while you get a nice you get a nice um Can I play? Oh. Uh, you play yes. this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um you get a nice string of springs in a row. Yes. And you just go spring, Love it. spring, spring, and you're just so like, oh, I'm doing much so fun. Oh. Well. <laughs> Sometimes I don't think I'm going to make it, and then I go back, but I didn't make it, and then I get caught. Very quiet oh. chat. They're entranced by our <laughs> game playing. I don't think it's, so. It's a hypnotizing <laughs> doing, doing, doing. It is pretty hypnotizing. I, I do agree with you there. And it's like such a simple, simple, simple concept game, but Which it's... Which is what makes it fun. But it's so fun. Ever since he's released it, I've been playing it at least once a day, I think. Really? Yeah. Oh, no wonder you're so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it has changed, but I mean, the principle hasn't changed, so once you kind of know the movement and he hasn't changed the way it moves so the original alpha oh. release carry carries over quite quite well to this one it's just hitting platforms and the only change is sometimes they move and sometimes they disappear oh my that goodness was, that was bad i feel like it i am looking at it at a bit of an angle here so yeah. I need help if I'm centered. Can I center? Yeah, you can move over. Okay. Oh, I'm almost See off the couch. Helps. Oh, you're way running out of couch. <laughs> Not even on the camera. You'll have anymore. to wrap around to Look. the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Barely on the camera anymore. You'll have to wrap around on the, to the other side. Switch with go. me. What? I'd be in dis be in a, at a disadvantage? <laughs> okay. this angle <laughs> <laughs> neither do i <laughs> this is player two angle oh <laughs> it's a rough life it is poor player two <laughs> <laughs> player two the friend who always gets the knockoff joystick to play with that's right the one that's just a little broken <laughs> the pink ps4 uh, controller yeah the third party one doesn't have quite the nice action on it Oh, Arena Foot says he's just listening and working on volume two of his book. Oh. Oh. Are you going to include this game in volume two? <laughs> you better. <laughs> it's awesome. Whatever its final version deserves, is. Deserves to... No, he had uh, work in progress. Oh, he did? Oh. Um, games. I have not read your book yet, so yep. I'll be getting that once you're finished with your reviews and everything. Yeah, yeah. I'll be... Just need to do some B-roll of it. So then I'll be done with the actual physical book. Um, yeah, he put Mappy, Mappy in his book, and it's not done yet, so. Gotcha. It's 
still a work in progress. I don't think that was his only one he put in. Works in progress? Not sure. Whoa, oh. chaos. Panicked. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, more beer. Um, Can you yeah. get me some idea, ice and actually. water? <laughs> I'll get you some water. Thank you. It is very hot. Oh, I don't like this angle. Yeah. Oh, they have to be bright so we look good. Ah! I'm moving back. See, much better. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other things to add in, but I can't. Other than like little creatures or something. All the things on my list. But I think more will be... As he adds more in, more things will come to mind of how to improve it. Not improve it, because there's nothing to improve. It's pretty much perfect as it is. And just more things make it better. Of course, there's going to be a point where more things make it worse. But you can always keep those things... Oh, going for too many springs. Going crazy with the springs. See? Taking big risks for the points. But how am I going to get to 10,000 if I don't go for the points, eh? Maybe I'll go for the springs if they're in the middle or if I'm going slow. When I completely redo the room, I'll have little coffee tables or something on either side mm. for drinks. So it'll be a lot better. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. First, I need to find somebody who makes cabinets, custom cabinets, mm -hmm. for at least one side of the desk, computer desk. I don't know if there's going to be room for these monitors and a second side, so I may just have just one wall. I see what you mean. Right? Are you going to keep that desk that you have now? No, it's terrible. It's ugly. Ugly and broken ter and... Terrible. I mean, it works. <laughs> it's just a it's just a desk solid flat desk there's nothing special about it I mean it's fine of course I can keep it for longer if I just get one cabinet because I <laughs> won't <laughs> what is happening <laughs> what is happening it's just really full Having a stroke and I know. <laughs> spilling it outside of your mouth it is very hot but this is not exactly my because i'm watching you i'm not really paying attention that's it is enthralling i am very I'm good at playing right it is pretty awesome <laughs> maybe i shouldn't have that second beer <laughs> he says marina foot says mappy was the only only work in progress in volume one yeah that's mm. that makes sense you don't want to put too many in that are not going to be what they are at the end and it's hard to analyze mm. uh, finished, an unfinished game. Hi. Hi, Hi kitty. Oh, I'm going to blame you for spilling beer on myself. Yes. My frame meister is getting oh, hot sweetie. or something. It's getting some is glitchy. It? Getting glitchy? A little glitchy. It is warm. Well, you know what? It's it's not too bad, but the lights in here do heat everything up. So. Yeah. I could go for a low lighting episode. <laughs> <laughs> In the summer, low light summer episodes. You might have to. Moody. <laughs> we'll try that now. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's darker. That's really dark. No, that is not flattering in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> the side one? No, leave one of the front ones on. Mm, I would leave that one on. <laughs> That's better. There you go. So turn. that's a little... I could probably turn that one off, the overhead one. 
put it just put it to the side down. And put it on the no, 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 no. <laughs> Not on top of electronics. Well, you hold it. It's cold. Here I'm you gonna go. I'm going to put it where it's going to be safe from your foot. I don't want it on the floor because, yeah, anyway. It's away from your kicking feet. My kicking feet, your kicking feet, the cat's kicking feet. Oh, that's fine. Okay, stop. Yeah. This game you can actually stop. Well, pause if you have pause. a solid if you yeah. have a solid platform. All you need is a yellow platform. Spin back on the desk. So I think it'll have oh, it's not even... Let's try and put it on an eight book. Oh, that's not bad. There we go. How's that for moody lighting? Oh. That works pretty good, actually. Is it moody? Yep, yeah, it's moody. Could be worse. <laughs> Cuts down to one third the heat from the lights. Y'all need cup holders, Arena Foot says. <laughs> yes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. That is for sure. Need little. Little tiny table right here. Well, that would be good. Right now you have the Atari on our coffee table, so that yes. and it's it's not really within close reach. Otherwise, we could probably put drinks there. But, yes. But cup holders would be helpful. I don't know how I can make that. Cup holders? Better. No, no, no. <laughs> like this configuration where the the Atari's like. Uh, that needs to be here, and I don't know, a smaller a desk or something. thin profile. Um, um, shelf shelf for the television yeah yeah and then we need to get rid of well i don't that. know where we would put that anywhere we have a printer it's i don't know if you can see it we have a big printer here that sits on top of basically <laughs> the side table I can go in the like bedroom I'm dribbling down my shirt um go somewhere else in the house because uh, it's wi-fi just needs to be plugged in somewhere point although the funniest thing you've ever seen is atari react to something printing in the printer uh, yes. um he attacks it he see all those cat videos on youtube that's what he does yeah <laughs> he honestly thinks it's possessed by a demon <laughs> and he'll growl and he'll attack anything that gets printed out of it so it's pretty cute <laughs> it is yeah. we'll have to film it one day oh i have it i have a a my video? cats have an Instagram, so uh, <laughs> I do have it. I, yeah, I do have a video of him attacking the printer, ah. so I'll have to post that. But um, uh, Did yeah, you see guy, uh, the guy who made an Atari stand out of a pallet <laughs> on Facebook? <laughs> uh, a pallet? I didn't see that. You know, people do amazing things with pallets. I'm always surprised. Like, if, just you, like if you're rough, a wood, If you're a woodworker, wood. you know, it's lots of pallets. there's a lot of creativity and... and um, carpentry and woodworking but yeah. yeah people do a lot of things with pallets because they're just like rough pieces of wood yeah cheap pine ah! I think, usually where's my beer uh one second <laughs> priorities thank you that is a really awesome thing about this game is that you can pause just find a yellow one to jump on and it's paused mm -hmm. oh my goodness Came out great. <laughs> oh, I'll have to look for it. Whoa. I'm guessing you can't post photos in a Twitch chat, so. It's just text. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. That's probably for the best. It is. <laughs> it's definitely for the best. That's why I like IRC. Oh, uh, see? IRC, that's old school. Very old school. <laughs> Keeps it just a text. Yeah. And if you post too much text, you get kicked. <laughs> so you can't like flood. If you make... post too much text, yeah, you get like kicked? all in a row, like a like fifty oh, lines of text. Yeah, okay. Trying to flood the channel. You and you draw can... pictures <laughs> for a second text. there. I'm like, oh no, you have a you have a letter count. Uh, you know, you can only. Yes. Uh, Oh, and, and no. no, and you're done. No, <laughs> done for the day. Yeah, you're done. You're finished. You I suppose. Too much of your I suppose that would be a good idea for an app for people who are addicted to social media. Ah. Would be a word count or an, a, a, a letter count, yes. and then basically it would just shut your phone down if you've gone over. And a scrolling count. You have, yeah. You get to look at ten X Instagrams. number of things, and then and then all those those associated apps would just not 
not open. Twelve pages of scrolling. Yep. How do how do you um how to beat your social media addiction <laughs> if yes. you're one of those people? Limit it. But yeah. You can have cheat days on Saturdays. Yeah. <laughs> well, people do that uh, with their Wi-Fi's. You yeah, know, they do. They, they put their Wi-Fi on a, a timer. They don't let it turn on. Or do they put on a timer? Yeah, it's mostly a timer. Yeah, they um, could do it by bite, like um, just turning it on and off themselves. Megab megabytes or. But yeah, we we've known people to just put it on a timer so they don't yes, let themselves that's right. when they're supposed to be working. Yeah, look at their social media until a certain time of the day. That's right. And then shut it down at night. So, or not their social media, but the internet as a whole. The internet as a whole. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, they didn't need the internet for their work. No. I sometimes do. But usually not. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy! used wood stain and made joystick holders and the bottom is cartridge holders oh. and an Atari LED light LED sign too. Ooh. That sounds very fancy. That it sounds does. really cool. I was just envisioning like just a platform to put your Atari 2600 on. But this is like big time fancy. Oh. Oh, I snag that blue one. Mhm. Mm mm. Close. You made it to 9,000 before. Mm. Close. You really want to see it roll over I into uh, I have to. Five, I have to have a goal. Five digits, right? I have to have a goal for each, each. broadcast. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just playing. What's the point of just playing? <laughs> Up. Ah, oh, what? What happened? You didn't die? I closed my eyes because I thought it was going to die. I, I did too. Did I not die? Did I hit it below the... I'll have to rewatch that. Yeah, I missed that. Ah. Oh my goodness. Arena says patch. he's uh, tagged you in the pick for the stand. Oh, so. thank you. Come on, 10,000. I say it like I'm spinning a wheel on a board of chance. Come on, 10,000. Come on. <laughs> I can get it. Come on. Big money. Big, Big money. Big money. No whammies. No whammies. Oh, I got no a whammy. Whammies, no whammies. <laughs> Sorry, I'm hogging it. I'll give you the next one. No, it's okay. I'm drinking my beer. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm not... I, I don't think I'll... I'll do quite as well as you have, so. Oh, that's okay. No. The dog is pretty sensitive. He seems to be able to claw himself up <laughs> onto a platform if you get like halfway into it. You don't have yeah. to get your feet to it. You don't have to be perfectly above it. No. And you do pass through them, right? So. Yes. off the harmony card? Yes. Mm -hmm. That is the way I play ROMs. I put them on SD card and then put it into the harmony cart and then 2600 plays them. And the other way you could do it is through an emulator on your computer. That is not as much fun mm. as using 40-year-old hardware. 
and probably 30 year old joysticks. Um, it's for the people who follow my Instagram and Facebook. You'll know that I ordered the Retron 77. Because <laughs> we need more consoles. Because we needed another <laughs> console. That does the same thing as five other ones that I have. <laughs> um, so I'll be getting that in mid-July, I guess. It says shipping date is January 7th. Something like that, yeah. Um, so hopefully it'll arrive shortly after that. Will you review shipping... it? Oh yeah, I'll be rushing out a review on that one. And I've got lots of um, test programs lined up. Mm. So it plays cartridges. Is that yes. right? Certain ones? Certain ones, unfortunately. It only plays up to 16k. Mm. It does not play anything that needs uh, DPC um, chip, mm. or that has a DPC chip, sorry. Um, so I don't think it plays Pitfall 2, which is pretty sad, but I can't remember that for sure. Um, it won't play anything over 16k of ROM, so that excludes a lot of the more advanced homebrews in cartridge form. Um, but it has an SD card. So, in theory, it will... Oof. It will play... was almost your exact score from yeah yeah i'll get so it so close it's funny because it doesn't get any harder you just get more tense yeah <laughs> as <laughs> you see your score go up that's why you should score. never look at your score that's right yeah just jinxes you it's over when it's over yep no need to look at the score just keep getting the bouncies <laughs> Um, yeah, so it has an SD card reader. The emulation is software emulation. It's not a computer on a chip. Like the AVS is, the Nintendo. Nintendo, um, emulator, hardware emulation. Uh, that's FPGA emulation on the AVS, um, which is sad that they didn't do that, but it would cost a lot more. And the emulator they're using is Stella, which is the emulator everybody uses on the PC and, and Mac and everywhere else. I don't remember if they said what build number, what version number, sorry of Stella they're using, whether it's version 5, because some of the newer homebrews, like Mappy, need version 5 to run. Version 5 hasn't been out like super, super long, because when you're dealing with testing new hardware out, you want to kind of stick with a version for a while to make sure it works and not keep changing it and then having to oof. That was close. Yeah. Keep changing and fixing your hardware. Every time a new version comes out because then you're back to square one. Oh. I didn't mean to land on that. Oh, I arena foot said he asked the guy to make blueprints to make one. Oh. Good idea. That is very smart. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of room for any woodworking projects here. Not so much. We live in Vancouver. <laughs> in Vancouver proper, not in the suburbs. So, unless you're a millionaire, 
you don't own a big house. No. So... We don't have room to do that kind of stuff. No. Or more importantly, we don't have room to store the equipment to do that <laughs> to do kind that. of stuff. Because yeah, we do have a true. garage where we park our car, but we don't have like, we don't have a big thing of saws and, yeah. you know, I don't know, everything else you need. <laughs> Table saws. Well, and you have to put all your consoles and cartridges somewhere, That's too. right. <laughs> Half the house is filled with That's cartridges right. and consoles That's right. and joysticks and boxes of homebrew. And it's just getting more and more every day. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, your turn for a little bit. Mm. Here, here, give it to me. Here, No, nope, where's the paper towel? You spilled it, it's upstairs. I didn't think you'd spill it again. <laughs> it didn't, it just fuzzed over yeah. when I put it down. Uh... It's okay. It's okay, I've got a paper towel here. It looks like it's precarious when you're putting it down over there. Is there an issue over there? No, it's just the carpet isn't exactly even. Oh so. my goodness. You play another round until I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, no, it's right here. You didn't bring it upstairs. Oh, okay. I thought I did. I just put it down and it went. Oh. The phone came up the top, so. Right. I did not. It's like over. when you bang the bottom of it? Yes, exactly. I'm just not having a good day. I think mm -hmm. it's the heat. I'm blaming the heat. <laughs> Have heat stroke? No, I mean, no, not me. <laughs> A little fuzzy. Alcohol and heat stroke. Well, if there was a side table, this wouldn't be a problem. So. <laughs> Cup holders. Cup holders. Yep. That's what we need. Definitely. having a coat of fur that you can't get rid of no. but it also regulates their temperature oh that's true up to a point i mean yeah. if it's super hot it's not going to do a whole lot of good they are yeah. kind of laid out every day at the coolest <laughs> spot in the house they can find that's true well the black and white cat was upstairs just completely melted on the floor so <laughs> it's not even coming down oh no Usually he's all over the place. I know. He just seems he seems he's hot. Like, no, I'm done. He's I don't hot. want to be where other people are right now. Yeah. <laughs> they may want to pet me and touch oh, me. Oh, no. Too make much. Make me hotter. Yeah. What? Nope. Jumped right through it. Yeah. Hit it from the side. Edge. Ooh, if that went was too high, that would have been trouble. That was close. Poor little doggy. Caught his toe just on the edge. Oof. Oof. I hate that. I hate that so much. What? When you catch when yourself? When you accidentally catch you yourself and you're not expecting? <gasps> oh, again! <laughs> <Why>? Again! <laughs> I wasn't even looking at the score so until I died. Too. It's, it's like a a wall, it's like wall jump ninja. Wall uh, jump ninja is frustrating in that different. by the time you get to the really hard levels, it takes quite a while to get there, and uh, then you just die really quickly. So it does take a while to get to the harder harder levels. Um, it takes a little while, but really, it, the game is only a couple minutes long. Even this mm. one is like, I don't know, three, two, yeah, three but, minutes? Yeah, but it feels very it repetitive does. to get to that point, is what I'm saying. It does, yes. But I, I do like Wall Jump Ninja. I, I do want to play that again. It's it's a, it's it's a good hard. game. It just gets so hard. It gets really there. hard. <laughs> that will be the keeper of the beer. Yeah, he doesn't yes, trust so me. Yes, so close, yes. 
I will get 10,000. It will be today. It's, I just have to not be silly. And not get unlucky, because oh. there is some, un, there's some luck involved in not catching yourself on a platform when you're expecting to go over, and then it just destroys your rhythm. Hi. Can you see the cat? Oh, he is on, uh, he is on camera. That's good. Sometimes it's not quite low enough to catch him, but today he's on camera. <laughs> Sometimes I go through them and I, I, yeah, see, like I said, the angle is not great. It's not. I'm oh, sorry. I want to sit on the floor. <laughs> Can you still see me? Uh, that's I'm just ahead. very weird. <laughs> I'm like a floating head That's here. very weird. No, here, we'll move the kitty over. I feel like, uh, yeah, kitty, you go to this side. There you go. Oh, he's floppy. Oh, he's, he's so warm. soft and floppy. He's so warm. Oh, I can't even lean back. It's not long enough. Um... And the big benefit of the Retron 77 is it's very small. It has HDMI out. So we're hoping that's it's a good HDMI out. Oh. Um, and it accepts all the regular joysticks that the old ones uh, accepted. Or this one accepts. Um, so you could play with... They haven't tested all the peripherals, but they I think they... Oh... <laughs> Same. Tested Can't at least that. the paddles, the driving controller, and the joysticks, which are the, you know, covers 99% of the games made for the Atari. A big disappointment was that it didn't support the Atari 7800 because it has the exact same size cartridge slot, and since it's being emulated, there's no reason why they couldn't put a 7800 emulator in the box as well. If they're just taking somebody else's emulation and taking the read pins from the from the cartridge and taking the joystick inputs. That's that's it. And they put a box around it and uh, a tiny computer. But they didn't. So maybe they're because the 7800 library is not huge. Um, I don't think they're including any games built in. I don't know. <laughs> Zero points. Yeah, you can't watch that and play. No, no, no. I'm not so watching it's, that. It's on delay. <laughs> Just seeing our couch layout. Hmm? We're, we're a little bit heavy on the on the left-hand side of the couch. If this was a film, it would be a very unbalanced frame. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, right on the edge of the puppy's paws. Oh. See, you kind of clip the edge sometimes. My turn after this. Sure. And um, Dion was Dion was very smart in the platform programming. Um, because I thought he used um, Playfield graphics because of the spacing of the platforms. Because they look like it's four, space, four, space, four, space. But actually, all the platforms are made with balls. And so that's how he was able to easily convert, or easier, oh, easier to convert over the, here's your beer. Thank you. <laughs> um, the moving platforms, because he wouldn't be able to move them uh, very nicely if they were playfield graphics. And since there's only one sprite used for the dog, mm -hmm. he can put any kind of enemies he wants at any point. So, did you ever pay, play the original Pappy Jump? I swear I did. <laughs> A uh, yeah. long time ago. Yeah. And it Do you was remember there so being basic. enemies? Or? No, no, no. It was just bouncing. 
It was such a basic game. Mm. So very much like this where you're just bouncing and jumping up. It didn't even have springs. Yeah. As so far just, as I remember. Just colored platforms. Yeah. Just like the original game that we were playing before, uh, that I was playing before. Mm. The first version of this that so came out. So just very simple and points going up the, the higher you get kind of. Yeah. And doodle jump was more, it's more like this where there's mm. enemies and there's, there's lots of stuff. There's so much stuff in Doodle Jump. Have to remember the screen wraps around. good tactic that I find is not doing that is when you do hit a spring mm. try and center yourself at least a little bit on the screen I like go back towards the center because then it's easier to get to the next spring because then you don't have to go a full screen across like that's on the side so go back to the center and even if you can't get a spring at least you'll have a better chance of getting to a platform a lot easier because then you only have to move the doggy a little bit yeah this is going to be a hard game when it all of a sudden starts being all white screens there'll be no sitting around then trying to contemplate your next move. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would make it very challenging if, if they all f fell away. After. Really challenging. <laughs> or as you say, there were different levels where some you could hit two or three times and some you could only hit once. Yeah. I think that would make it very challenging because your brain would be... Trying to figure out. Figure out, okay, can I hit this platform again? <laughs> yeah, how many times can I before it disappears? Yeah. get more points for the moving ones eh. personally but I think you just get points as you move up and then as you see you get a slight yeah. bonus for the springs I think that's pretty fair yeah oh you wrapped <gasps> getting creative at least I can go for the <sighs> nope never mind not anymore <laughs> gone <gasps> see, that's like a little preview of what an all white screen would be like. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Damn it! Back to zero. That was too hard. Too many blues all in a row. Had a good run there. Yeah. Oh, springs. Yeah. I did. So much fun jumping on the springs. <laughs> there, I can smell some celebrations now. <laughs> <laughs> but that's every day here. <laughs> Pretty much. Ruined. Oof. 
That was sparse all of a sudden. It's like, where do I go? Ugh. Oh my, oh, I hate it when it happens like that. It's like, yep, there's a platform and it just goes off the screen. And it was the one you were trying for. Mm -hmm. So when it goes up high, you have to kind of look up a bit and have like a couple options ready, almost. Yep. It's the one that looks appealing. The problem is if you jump up to a higher platform and then jump up, you push everything down. Yes. And that's what you have to be careful of. Yes. I mean, you, you almost have to land on the on that spring as the f first platform you jump on. Yes. Or you're kind of messed. Or the first platform you jump, jump on is under the spring. Because if it's over yes. the spring, the moment you jump, you'll jump too high. If you're going for all springs, yeah. But like when you hit that one that disappears, yeah. it pushes you... Too oh. far ahead, yeah. And then I would have been screwed if I was like, oh, I'm going to go for yeah, that spring. Yeah, exactly. You would have fallen right off the screen. If I was a lesser player, <laughs> I may have done that. Yeah. <laughs> but as a poodle jump expert, <laughs> <laughs> I know better. As a... Because <laughs> I'm the only poodle jump player in the world except for you and Dion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel very fancy right now. <laughs> Got in on the ground. Yeah, one of the top three players in the <laughs> world of Poodle Jump. Yes. Soon to uh, <laughs> take my uh, leadership of the bottom of that of that uh, leaderboard, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't know. Dion professes not to be great at the game. <laughs> I think any game you create, you have at least a fairly moderate proficiency at. I, I, I have a hard time believing that he's a terrible... Um, well, I didn't say he was terrible. Drive. No, but, but you know I mean, what I mean? I send if him you my make scores, it, yeah, if and you he's make like, it. oh, okay. Playing it safe. Playing it safe. Here we go. Whoa. Yep. Good Built job. in five digits. Good job. Thank you very much. Good job. I accept my award. <laughs> On behalf of the poodle that helped me out. Yeah. Getting this five I think digit he deserves, score. He deserves a diamond encrusted collar. For he does. A score of that. At least a different color magnitude. collar. Oh, well, still. <sighs> 11,595. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. Atari is very. Um, Are you happy about that very score, happy Atari? For you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get him purring. Just give me a <laughs> get, second. Get him warmed up. Get yeah. him purring. Yeah, yeah. He's purring now. Excellent. Purring. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Purring? Very softly. Oh, yeah. He's purring. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> it's not very hear. loud. It's not yeah. very loud. He's hot. Not a lot of purring when you're hot. No. No. So there we go. 11,595. Good job. Thank you very much. Good job. Would you like one more turn? No. You're done. I'm done. No, I'm done. I'm hot. The beer is the beer so, is helping, but yeah. I'm quite hot, quite warm. It is very warm <laughs> here. Um just under the t under the 2 hour mark of the show too. Yes. So mm -hmm. we don't aim to make it two hours, but it always seems to be two hours, no matter if we throw well, four games at it or one game at it. Yes, although occasionally it is three and a half. So Well, that's on, <laughs> that's on like but, um, finish the game yeah, nights. Yeah, no, that's fine. No, yeah, two hours is pretty good. Yeah. It doesn't. It didn't actually feel that long for playing one game. That's quite a long. No, and well, an hour for such a simple more game. More like an too. hour and a forty-five, but still, that's 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 a pretty. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I don't... Let me just check if see if he has released this game. Mm. Um, I doubt it because he's in Europe and he's probably asleep. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think he didn't join in. Um, so let's just take a look. No, he did not uh, post it. So just check... Uh, just search for Doodle Jump. Um, I'm guessing he's going to post it tomorrow. Hmm. Um, in Europe, it'll be, you know, maybe in the morning he might post it. So that would make it um, maybe midnight Pacific time. Maybe well, they're if about it's 8 a.m., he's eight hours ahead. Eight is he eight or eight seven? To 10. Some, it was usually like seven hours. Seven to ten. Yeah. Yeah, like depending that. where you are in seven, Europe. Seven eight hours. Um, but most likely yeah. you can wake up tomorrow yeah. in North America and maybe he'll post it. Yeah. Maybe he'll post it. Maybe he wants to work on a couple more things. But I mean, it's super stable. Mm -hmm. There's no reason he wouldn't post it. I don't know if you'll get the poodle version or if you'll get the doodle version. I hope you get the has, poodle version. I hope it's you get the poodle. Cute. It's, it's, it's pretty cute. super cute. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, the ears are, are a nice touch. I really like the ears. Flopping up and down. It jumps higher <laughs> and higher. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's very, very cute. Mm -hmm. yeah. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Um, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel because I will have some reviews and I'm, I have another unboxing coming because I have a box and a tube to open. And also the Retron 77 in a couple weeks. Um, also going to do a Wall Jump Ninja review mm -hmm. um, because I know that game very well and I have a lot to say about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we'll see how fast I can do a Wall Jump Ninja review and then I'll move on to other games. So those will be on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe. It's just Zero Page Homebrew. Just do a search for it. Um, and also Instagram and Facebook, Facebook. and this, <laughs> <laughs> Twitch yeah. and Twitter, but I, I, I just put, uh, I just mirror Instagram on Twitter. And also if you're going down to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo in October, um, we will be there. Um, so come say hi to us and we'll maybe make more plans as we get closer. Um, to tell tell you where we are, at uh, on which days and stuff, mm -hmm. we're gonna um, tr make sure we're gonna be there for the Friday to the Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, Friday for the open um, arcade, which is oh, for sure. awesome. Yeah, yeah. So awesome. So if you're in on the West Coast or one state over, definitely go to the Portland Retro um. Gaming Expo. It is unbelievable. It is so so good. Um, yeah, and the book. Did I say book review? Yeah, the book review is coming out. The books review? I don't know. Book. Mm. How would you say that? Book review? Arena Photo will be at the Houston Arcade Expo. So for, for people on the East Coast, yeah. I guess <laughs> yeah. you'd be going to the Houston one. Yeah. Or the South East. South. South. So I've heard it's amazing there too. The yes. Houston one is supposed to be also very good. We're much closer to Portland, so that's that's yeah. sort of our, our expo of choice. But Yeah. Um, Maybe we'll do one year. We'll do a double one if they're on different. Yeah. Like, uh, the if next they can weekend. spread them out a little, I yeah. always find that funny. They later? do it on the same weekend, but or if a week they did earlier, it, if they did it a week off. Then, then you could, you know, that'd be amazing as a trip. Take some time Portland, off work and then, then just just hop around and. That'd be a good trip. Go expo to expo. That would be fun. <laughs> yeah. Load up the, the back um, of the car with video games. The Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo is this coming weekend too. So yeah. So if you uh, live if you're in, in Van Vancouver, it's or not Seattle, very. It's, it's not bad, but it's, it's not, not huge. bad. It's not as big. I mean, oh, when we not even close the to first one we close. went to was tiny, teeny tiny. About that big. Yeah, but um, the past, last two years it's been in a much really bigger big. venue and it's been pretty good. So, yeah, and I yeah. expect to be much bigger. I this think year. so. Each year it seems to increase in, in popularity. So. Uh, so I doubt anybody's yeah. watching from Vancouver, but <laughs> unless yeah, you're you my, are. unless I already know you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we'll be there. Yeah. Um, if you want to come say hi at the uh, Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo on uh, Saturday, Saturday this yep. coming Saturday, so in a couple days. Um, I think that's all the news. Um, yeah, and I also want to do like a news show too, and I think that would be pretty easy to do. A gaming one? Gaming news show. Oh, okay. But I still have to figure out the setup and how it's all going to work um, before I do that. Um, but it shouldn't be too hard. I would love to do have a green screen or something. 
and like flip the background just paint, or something. Well, paint the back wall green and then you can just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no there's like it's like we'll do it twenty dollar green screens that oh, are like, like, like six a foot mat across or, yeah. Right? yeah but you have to light them right or else you yeah. get these black blotchiness blotch yeah. it's terrible it looks terrible oh. um it's a six hour drive from me to houston that's about the same for us to portland vancouver to portland yeah eight yeah. It's eight? more like eight, I think. Really? It's like a day's drive. Three to Seattle, and then another, two and a half to see. Two another, to two and a half. And then but another it, three to Portland. The I five right? is kind of brutal. You have to time it up well. Yeah. So with Seattle, you're not hitting Seattle. Yeah. At all during rush you hour. You have to figure out when the rush hour times are, and, and if you if you manage to avoid it, it's not so bad. But the I five is pretty slow in certain places. So we'd be going down on a Thursday. Well, if we went missing. On, rush hour so we hit seattle at noon or one then that should be a good time to miss rush hour after people go in and before people come home yeah you want to hit seattle more in the middle of the day yeah. you don't want to hit it any time past like 3 30. that's about the right time to oh, or get to in, Portland. in in the morning so somewhere between 10 and 3 30 you want to hit, get yeah lunch in seattle yeah dinner in portland yeah Perfect. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice and calm and yeah. slow, and, and we could find a charger in Seattle. Maybe. For the car. Maybe. Get a little bit of juice in it. <laughs> An hour's worth. <laughs> find a level two we, charger. We, we don't have a, a fancy, fancy like Tesla or anything. No, like it's that, a Volt. Just to make that clear. <laughs> but so. but we, yeah, it does. It does go. Charge, so. Yep. Yeah. We can uh, make that work. Yep. Right, Atari? Yeah. He says yes. Say bye-bye, yes. Atari. I'm going to pick him up. He's going to hate me. Here, hold this. Uh, yes. I've had too many mishaps today. So, oh. but say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Oh, he's so sleepy and floppy. Oh. <laughs> he's really warm. <laughs> oh. So, Come until here. Friday. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah. I'll see you so, later. So, we'll return on Friday. Uh, oh. Probably to, I think I'll be by myself. Unless we want to do it at night. Yeah. So we'll say it's 2 p.m. right now, but it might be later, like at 7, pushing it so we'll you see. can join in. Yeah. But we'll see. What so, what? No, I was going to ask you, what, what are we doing? Or is that a surprise? Um, We might be trying to finish Anguna. That's okay. what I have on the plate right now. But I might pick out some new games because that's more like a Wednesday because we've already played it. And mm. playing new games might be better. So if I film unboxing tomorrow i can we can play the new games okay. or i have a stack up there to play but either way there will be games on friday so this is bye bye, bye. and we'll see you on friday bye, -bye. Have a good evening have a good evening till next time